Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now I want to give the clear information regarding inheritable knowledge and property inheritance in the knowledge representation. Now we are discussing about the concept of the knowledge representation. So here we are going to discuss about various kinds of the knowledge, how it going to be represented. In this regard, we are going to see the inheritable knowledge. What is the meaning of the inheritable knowledge? Okay, then first of all, we see the relational knowledge. As we all of you know, the relational knowledge deals with the databases. Okay, so uh, the relational knowledge base determines uh, a collection of the attributes and their associated values and describe the objects of the knowledge base. Okay, so it represents the various kinds of the attributes and the values of the attributes and also describe the objects of the knowledge base. How it is now we are going to see. See this table represents the relational knowledge and is having the four types of the attributes like a player, height, weight and bat throws. Now the same thing can be represented in the inheritable knowledge as player underscore info as the first row that is John, height is the name of the player is the John and height is 6.1 and weight is 180 and right bat throws is the right handed throw so that's why it is represented as right underscore throws okay so the same thing the first row i have represented here as the play underscore info function see in this the parameter it is holding all the values of that attribute one that is the value of the attribute one that is row one john uh, name of the person is the john one just a minute name of the person is the john and height is 6.1 and 180 and right throws okay so weight is 180 and right throws okay the knowledge about the objects and their attributes and their values uh, are shown okay the po most powerful mechanism to represent such a kind of the knowledge by using the objects their attributes and the values how they are represented is also called as the property inheritance property inheritance is one of the important mechanism to present such a kind of the knowledge which is going to represent in the form of objects attributes and their values okay so how in this property inheritance these particular values can be represented in this diagram now we see okay first of all before going to the diagram we are going to see what is the meaning of the property inheritance in the property inheritance the elements of the specific classes inherit the attributes and values from the more general classes which are included to support this the objects must be organized into classes and classes must be arranged in the hierarchical structure property inheritance supports uh, the hierarchical structure okay so it has to uh, maintain the hierarchical structure to represent the collection of the objects and to represent the collection of the classes in the form of the objects okay so with this diagram we can clearly understand what is the meaning of the property inheritance okay what it is showing here just see here lines uh, this kind of the lines are attributes okay these lines are attributes and boxed nodes are object values of the object of attribute object values are attributes of an object okay mammal is a person has a part nose and oven is one kind of the person and instance of the person it is the instant instance of the person and he is the team of liverpool and he has the uniform color as the red okay so this uh, double dashed uh, double line of the um, triangle marked double line represents the lines of the attributes okay so this is nothing but the structure of the property inheritance here mammal is the base class person is the intermediate base class and oven is the instance of this class and uh, the value of the attribute is uniform uh, is red for the uniform color and for the team name is liverpool and has a part nose and instance and mammal is a instance so here we have clearly specified the generalization is a relationship and instance relationship and has part as association and uh, red the attribute value and liverpool is also the attribute value so we have like this the various kinds of the values can be represented in the property inheritance property inheritance is full of all the parts like is a and instance part and has a part and uh, the value of the attributes person oven instance of oven comma person team oven of liverpool okay so like this this structure can be represented one of the important thing for this structure is it is also called as the slot and filler structure 
Normally, this kind of the divisor support this property inheritance along with the instance and as well as easy links also. Instance and easy and has a part are very important links in the representation of objects, attributes and their values. So, like this structure is very good example of property inheritance which in a way to support the instance, easy and has a relationships and as well as the values of the attributes of the given object. So, this feature is called the property inheritance and also it is called as slot and filler structure. In the coming videos, we talk about more about the slot and filler structures. If at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel, Intelligible Tutorials. Thank you one and all.